Number 10, mysterious kayak attack. The lassophobia is the fear of the ocean, but it's not just that. It's the fear that creeps up when you can't see the bottom of a river or a lake and don't know what's lurking beneath. Considering only 5% of the Earth's ocean has been explored, I feel like this is a pretty valid fear in a lot of ways, amplified by this video. Check it out. Okay, so we don't actually get to see it, but I think that's what makes this video so terrifying. I can only assume that it was a shark, but we don't know for sure. And I can't even comprehend how terrifying it would be not being able to see how big or where this creature was, especially considering the ferocity with which whatever it was tried to attack him. This could have been one deadly encounter. Number nine, saving a nurse shark. craziest part about this video for me is the irony of this encounter. Had these humans not shown up, this shark probably would have died without being able to get food or protect itself because it was literally trapped. But had humans not become little trash mongrels, then the shark wouldn't have been trapped in this way in the first place. So it's just like a weird, crazy circular cycle that I think this video highlights really, really well. And I, I hope those guys keep doing what they're doing, saving the ocean one piece of plastic at a time. Number eight, otter on the run. This next one is so surreal. I'll let the video speak for itself. Come on up, bud. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Not only did these people get up close and personal to an otter, which definitely is on my list because they're so cute. They hold hands so they don't separate from each other. How adorable is that? Immediately after, they got to see a massive orca swim close to their boat. In this one instance, humanity and nature walked hand in hand as this otter fought for its life. But then this guy just can't move because otherwise this poor otter will meet a bloody fate. Does the boatman just let this poor guy succumb to survival of the fittest? Thankfully he doesn't. The video kind of ends on a definite cliffhanger, but rest assured the vessel's owner, John Dornella, eventually drove the boat to a safe distance. And then eventually the otter decided to jump ship. Pretty cool. But it turns out that the otter wasn't just fleeing from any orca, oh no no. John discovered the orca's ID number and found out it was the largest in its pod. This guy did this otter a huge solid, that is for sure. Number seven, nurse shark. So fun fact, I actually swam with nurse sharks a while ago, one year on vacation, and it wasn't as dangerous as swimming with sharks sounds because nurse sharks are actually pretty docile. They just kind of chilled out at the bottom of the sand pit and the actual, the guides had to go down and like rustle them up. And they were like, no, leave me alone. I was sleeping, bro. Very, very chill experience. There were also giant manta rays, which was kind of the thing I was the most afraid of because of the whole Steve Irwin fiasco. But still, nurse sharks kind of live up to their name, but still, Put some food in your hand and you might see a whole other side. Thankfully, the woman in this video is okay, but it does just go to show. Maybe don't feed the sharks, even if their name sounds disarming. Number six, whale to the rescue. It would be surreal to even see a whale that close, but to have one save your life? There are no words, check this out.
this is such a mystery to me. This is this is real life flipper, except instead of Elijah Wood and a dolphin, it's a whale. Like a whale went, oh, that thing, whatever it is, it's in danger and I'm gonna let it know. The, like, the innate kindness this animal was capable of, I just don't even know how to wrap my mind around this. It's not like, I haven't even met humans that kind. That's not true, people are pretty great. It's not like we have an IQ test we can make for animals to take, but we know they have very strong instincts and we know that they've shown signs of emotional intelligence. So I don't know guys, whales might have just become my favorite animal. I just think it's kind of surreal. I mean, we know that um, the size of a brain doesn't necessarily correlate with like intelligence, but in terms of the ratio of brain size to body mass, it can, so who? knows but either way this video is so surreal and i can't even believe it exists number five baby beluga speaking of whales beluga whales were the reason i wanted to go to places like marine land so bad when i was younger you know before i realized that they actually weren't that great they look like the perfect mix between a dolphin and a whale and they just look like they're always having a good time they look smiling and curious and i just love them this video is no exception This man just kayaking, living his best life with a beautiful, perfect, and curious little beluga whale just comes up to visit and he even gets to pet him. Ah, my dreams realize. See, we don't even need places like Marine Land to experience this kind of natural wonder. Though it looks like this little guy was camera shy because it just took his GoPro and then gave it back. Like, again, mind blowing because somehow this blue whale knew, oh, wait a minute. This guy, he wants this back. I'm gonna go get it. Like, I just, I can't even. This is insane. What do you guys think of that? Wow. Number four, close encounter of the whale kind. I held my breath when I first saw this clip. A warning to anyone going scuba diving in an ocean. If you see a flurry of fish just bolting it to the surface, get out of the way. These divers came so close to getting too close to the inside of a whale. Something that will come up later. In hint. Stunning and terrifying. What a great mix. When not one but two massive whales breached the surface, those guys got so far out of there. They were like, wow, this is great. Whoa. And then they just fled to the boat. I would too, for sure. Ugh. Creepy, creepy, creepy. But beautiful at the same time. Like, I don't even know what that would be like to experience. Uh, anyways, guys, before we get to our top three, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to stay a part of our hive. Uh, we appreciate all the help that we can get and we appreciate any and all love you show us. So thank you so much. Number three, an octopus lending a hand. Can we call this story a love story? Ah. Uh I'm not sure. I feel like that's strutting dangerous waters. As I mentioned earlier, we know humans have barely, barely scratched the surface when it comes to exploring the ocean, but that means that a lot of creatures still haven't met us. I mean, chances are, sadly, they've met our garbage before they've seen us. But this interaction between two curious beings just goes to show we aren't the only ones asking questions. Number two, deflate before it's too late. This next clip is my worst nightmare. And I also think this is the first time I've ever mentioned Flipper twice in one day. Well, at least in the last five years. I can't remember the last time I saw that movie. But there is that scene where he's just floating in a raft and it gets attacked by a massive shark and just starts deflating. Once you watch this clip, you can understand why it immediately made me flash back to that moment. I would have been so paralyzed with fear. 
I mean, what are they gonna do? They are literally minutes from being shark meat. This is not how I would like to encounter such a magnificent creature. I would prefer not at all, or at least safely behind my TV screen during Shark Week, because love me some Shark Week, but wow. They're standing there filming. Dudes, call for help. You got a phone. And number one, a man inside a whale. Of course this is number one. Remember how I said we were gonna come to this later? Well, here it is. Michael Picard, a lobster fisherman in Massachusetts, almost met death inside the mouth of a whale. This is the closest real life experience to that scene in Pinocchio we all have nightmares about, you know, when they're like fighting the whale and they end up inside it. Terrifying. Spoilers if you've never seen the movie, but also, why haven't you seen the movie? Michael was diving for lobster when he suddenly heard a loud bang and then everything went dark. He said it felt like getting hit by a freight truck, which I mean, isn't really far off. He thought, and I quote, what the heck, did I just get eaten by a shark? But no, a shark's mouth is not that big and I don't feel any teeth, unquote. Next thing he knew, he was flying through the water at an incredibly high speed, thinking he was going to die. Of course, how terrifying would that be? But after 30 to 40 seconds of him banging on the whale's mouth, he finally spat him out. So to be clear, he wasn't swallowed by the whale, but he was just hanging out in his mouth, Dorian Marlin style. But still, like how crazy is that? Not many people get to say that they were eaten by a whale and live to tell the tale. Starting us off at number 10 are the Pitoi. These birds are found throughout the jungles of New Guinea, and if you happen to be bushwhacking through the jungle, you best hope to only see one of these birds from a distance. Why? Because this is the only known bird that carries a toxin. These birds carry the same neurotoxic agent called bat racotoxin, the same toxin that can be found on the skin of the poison dart frog. This toxin is one of the most deadly substances found in nature. There are three species of the pitoe, with the hooded pitoe being the most deadly. A portion of a gram of the bird's toxin can result in paralysis, heart attack, or even death. Luckily, there have been no recorded deaths from this bird yet, and I'm hoping it stays that way. This bird has also come to be known as the rubbish bird because it can obviously not be eaten. This bird Bird sounds pretty deadly and might be a surprise that it's starting us off at our number 10 spot, but since there have been no recorded deaths, it stays here. A poisonous bird though? <laughs> Jeez, what else can Mother Nature cook up? At number 9 we have the European Herring Gull. The European Herring Gull is found all across Western Europe. I know what you're thinking. Dewey, these just look like normal seagulls, and yeah, they do. But if normal seagulls are already from hell, then these guys are also the birds from hell just a little bit higher in the evil family and much more closely related to Satan. These birds are known to steal food and attack humans. They have a wingspan of 49 to 61 inches long and razor sharp bills up to 2.6 inches long. So you best be sure there are going to be some injuries from these demon birds. But that's okay because if they ever cross me, they'll have another thing coming. Because just like Joey from Friends, Dewey doesn't share food. However, these birds, if provoked, attack in teams. So if you don't mind, I could use a little back up guys. Come on. At number 8 we have the red tailed hawk. The red tailed hawk is a common bird throughout most of North America. They can weigh anywhere between 2 to 4 pounds with a wingspan of 38 to 43 inches. They have large broad wings and short tails and once again as with most of the animal kingdom, the females are larger than the males. The main weapon that makes these birds so dangerous? Their wickedly sharp talons. These hawks defend their territory fiercely and let me tell you, you do not want to get in their way. Those towns can see deep into any kind of prey, including humans, and if they felt that they were being put in danger, they're going to come attacking you. These are, however, stunning birds, and I am lucky to say I have seen one of these in person before. Never close enough to make them feel threatened, but close enough to take a good look. And they are absolutely beautiful creatures, and they deserve every bit of respect that we have. So if you come across one of these magnificent birds, watch, but keep your distance. At number 7, we have everyone's favorite Harry Potter supporting character, Hedwig. But more specifically, the species of the snowy owl. One of the most stunning members of the owl and bird family, the snowy owl sports snow white feathers with dark gray spots. They are native to the arctic tundra and usually weigh between 3.5 to 6.5 pounds and their wingspan reaches lengths of up to 60 inches. Natural predators of the snowy owl are arctic foxes, jaggers, and wolves. Humans can also be a threat to the snowy owls, but they will properly take care of you if you should happen to threaten or get too close to them. Their fierce beaks and sharp talons would sure make a mess out of anyone and because they are so used to defending themselves, they would know to go for the eyes and head. Needless to say, 
a snowy owl attack could be pretty severe. Luckily for Harry Potter, Hedwig was a very kind and calm owl, but believe me when I say she was one in a million. So for any of you hardcore Harry Potter fans out there, I don't suggest you get one of these as a pet because it's not gonna be the same. At number six, we have the mute swan. These large waterfowl are some of the biggest birds native to Europe and North America. They live in ponds, rivers, wetlands, and inland lakes. They're also one of the most stunning birds you will ever come across. That being said, if you do come across one of them, especially in the springtime, it's best to keep your distance. These swans can reach weights up to 28 pounds. That's almost 13 kilograms with a wingspan of 2.4 meters. It's important to keep your distance from them, especially in the springtime, because that is their nesting season and they are very territorial and protective of their eggs, especially from small children. These beautiful but fierce birds are quite strong and know how to throw their weight around. They also know how to target their head and eyes just like the other birds. So this one is a little unsettling to me. Heads up, if you are gonna feed these animals, don't feed them bread or popcorn. Keep it clean and healthy and keep it to vegetables. Keep them and their stomachs happy and they won't attack you. Coming in at our halfway point at number five, we have the Australian magpie. Now, <laughs> many of us know about this bird already. It's legends are timeless around the world and if you don't know what I'm talking about, then go look up any YouTube video of these birds dive bombing innocent passers-by. It's absolutely hilarious, but also a little scary. These birds live in parks, grasslands, fields, and gardens across most of Australia. And these attacks can result in severe skin or eye injuries, which of course are not funny, but the bulk of these videos online are honestly, they're just to die for. <laughs> also, shout out to its Canadian cousin, the red-winged blackbird. Not a crazy dangerous bird, but I did have one dive bomb me last year while walking through High Park. I immediately turned around and realized what it was and laughed my head off all the way home. And number four, we have the Lammergeier. The Lammergeier is one of the oldest vultures in the world. These massive vultures weigh up to seven kilograms and have a wingspan of 2.3 to 2.8 meters wide. They can be found in the high mountainous regions of Southern Europe, Southern Africa, and Asia. Their giant wings let these birds glide effortlessly above the high mountains. They will use specific techniques to find large bones, and then they'll drop them from crazy heights and then retrieve the broken bone down on the ground to eat the marrow inside. A little more alarming, these birds will also do that with tortoises, which obviously I am not a huge fan of. And I am also not a huge fan of the damage they could do to humans if we get too close. So, Lammergeiers, you stay away from my tortoises and humans, and I'll stay away from you. Got it? Starting us off in our top three at number three is the ostrich. Many of us are well aware of these massive goofy looking birds, but I don't think we realize just how dangerous they really are. The flightless ostrich is the largest living bird on earth. They live mostly in the savannas, deserts, and grasslands of Africa. A fully grown ostrich can get up to 33 pounds or 150 kilograms. They stand six feet in height and can run up to 43 miles per hour. Not only are they the largest bird on earth, but they are also the fastest with their incredibly strong legs. They could take out a human being, no problem, with those incredibly sharp and large talons too. So humans, best be warned and get out the way. And number two, we have the Harpy Eagle. The Harpy Eagle is quite possibly one of the most dangerous birds out there, never to have taken a human life. That we know of. This is one of the largest birds in the eagle family. A fully grown harpy eagle can reach up to 20 pounds in weight or nine kilograms and have a wingspan of 6.5 feet. That's two meters. They can reach speeds of flight up to 50 miles per hour and it's going to cause some serious damage when it slams into its prey. Their talons measure up to five inches in length and can easily snag into its prey. With a grip strong enough to crush bones, I think it's safe to say we should all stay away from this one and maybe just keep watching YouTube videos. And finally, coming in at our number one spot, we have the Southern Cassowary. This bird is quite possibly the most dangerous bird in the world. Why? It is the second largest bird in the world, weighing in at 175 pounds, approximately 80 kilograms in weight, and five feet in height. It also has extremely powerful legs, just like the ostrich, and extremely sharp talons to go along with them. They have three five inch long talons on both legs that if caught up close, could cause a severe injury or even death. And in case you didn't get the memo yet, <laughs> these birds are also known to jump on its victims, causing injuries, and death. But hey, that's what you do to keep your baby chicks safe. So uh, with that, I leave you with this. Leave these birds alone or face the consequences and don't say Dewey Stewart didn't warn you. 
Starting us off at number 10 is that Black Mamba, and I'm not talking about the late, great Kobe Bryant, although this did teach me the origin of his nickname. I'm talking about the giant, terrifying snake. The Black Mamba is the largest venomous snake in all of Africa. These snakes typically reach up to lengths of 7.2 to 8.9 feet. Although the longest one that was ever recorded measured a total of 14.11 feet. Kobe was 6.5 feet. That's longer than two Kobe Bryants. The black mamba snake is known to be one of the most vicious snakes in the world and is known to attack without any particular reason aside from someone getting in its space. The black mamba venom is incredibly toxic. If bitten by a black mamba, a human is expected to fully collapse within 45 minutes. So, if you ever come across one of these giant aggressive snakes, <laughs> you best hope to be near a hospital and not alone. At our number 9 spot, we have the boa constrictor. Boa constrictors can reach up to 9.9 .9 to 13.1 feet, with females measuring longer than the males. For the most part, these beautifully colored snakes are rarely considered dangerous towards humans. This is one snake that is commonly kept as a pet around the world. However, just like with anything else, there are stories where things have gone terribly wrong. As much as I love snakes and kinda want one, I don't think I could do a giant one like a boa. I mean, they seem friendly enough, but constrictor is in the freaking name, and please, I know people who have described me as an absolute snack, but not for snakes. At our number 8 spot, we have the Indian Rock Python, or scientifically named Python Mola Ruis. This giant snake measures up to 9.8 to 15.1 feet long, but is also one of the two subspecies of the Python Mola Ruis. The other one being the Burmese Python, which is known to be even larger than the Indian Rock Python. Both of these snakes can be found in tropic and subtropic areas of southern and southeast Asia, and luckily for us, it is non-venomous. That being said, these things are absolutely massive, and even if they're not venomous, I'm sure an Indian rock python bite would still take quite the chunk out of you. At our number 7 spot, we have the mascot and logo of the Cobra Kai, the King Cobra. The King Cobra is the longest venomous snake in the entire world. Probably why it's called King Cobra and not just Cobra. The King Cobra measures up to 18.7 feet and weighs up to 19.8 pounds, or 9 kilograms. I know it doesn't sound like much, but this snake is definitely huge in length, and while it might not be as wide, that makes it that much deadlier. These snakes are able to strike their prey hard and fast. Just like as they say in Cobra Kai, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. No mercy indeed, because king cobra bites are deadly to humans. If bitten by a king cobra, you have approximately 15 minutes before you are out cold. Another crazy cool fact is that these snakes are immune to their own venom. Not only that, but these little guys are extremely aggressive and ready to strike and defend themselves not too long after birth. So personal suggestion, don't mess with cobras, or you get the fangs. At number 6 we have the Burmese python. Yeah, remember this one? One of the subspecies of the Python Molaruis, up top with the Indian Rock Python? Remember when I said that these snakes could reach longer lengths over the Indian Rock Python? Well, just like the King Cobra, these snakes can reach up to 18.7 feet as well. These snakes are also excellent swimmers, and if you feel the need to go check one out, just take a quick trip down to Florida. Since the end of the 20th century, these snakes have been known to invade southern Florida and begin to breed there. So, luckily for the Florida people and all the snowbirds who escape Canada in the winter, these snakes are not venomous, but are massive. Imagine waking up to one of these next to you. Uh, honey, uh, what's the uh, number for 911? Coming in at our number 5 spot and halfway point is the African Rock Python. The pythons can obviously be found in Africa and are one of the longest pythons in the world. Don't worry, we will get to the other ones very soon. These snakes usually reach lengths of 15.8 feet in length, but some have reported even longer. Nothing can be proven 100% true yet, but apparently back in 1958 there was an African rock python that was killed and measured 23 feet in length. It was also claimed to have had a 5 foot juvenile crocodile in its stomach. Ooh. That's not too much smaller than an adult Dewey. And they're only going to get bigger. At number 4 we have the green anaconda. The snake that gave the name to the best wrestling move of all time, the Anaconda Squeeze! If any of you have ever watched Nacho Libre, you know what I'm talking about. Anacondas are the heaviest snakes in the world. The females are larger than males and can reach weights up to 551 pounds and 23 feet in length. That one is confirmed. Anacondas do hibernate and one other fun fact about them is that they are the black widows of the snake family. If you don't know what I mean, it is not uncommon for a female anaconda after mating to eat their male partner. 
Uh, can someone play Man Eater, please? I remember my first introduction to anacondas growing up. We're watching the anaconda movies on Saturday afternoons on TV and being totally petrified, but at the same time, wishing I was one of them. Now looking back, that CGI was pretty incredibly bad, and I think you're going to need to reboot those movies for me to get a scare. But for now, I'll keep watching videos on YouTube. Starting us off in our top three, at number three, we have the Amethystine Python. These pythons are native to Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and Australia. It is also a popular snake among snake enthusiasts and is the largest snake known of in its parts. Typically, these snakes reach up to 13.12 feet in length, but there are reports that state one of these pythons reaching lengths up to 28 feet at around 200 pounds. Seeing pictures, this is one beautiful snake. It's long, yellowish scales with brown markings down the side make it a sight to be seen. These snakes are also not venomous but can be bad tempered at times and can still give quite the nasty bite. Once again, they are not known to bother humans unless we bother them first. Kinda like most of these snakes. Maybe we need to keep our hands to ourselves a little more often. Coming in at our number two spot, we have the largest snake on earth, the reticulated python. These snakes can reach lengths up to 29.5 feet and exceed weights of 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. Currently the largest snake on earth is a reticulated python by the name of Medusa. Fitting name, isn't it? Medusa at the age of 9 years was 25.1 feet long and weighed in at 353 pounds. That's 160 kilograms. These snakes can live up to 21 years and grow throughout their lives. Medusa's owner says he would love to own the longest snake ever, but he's got quite the chore in front of him. He will have to keep feeding her pretty well if he wants to reach 32 feet. When not owned by humans, these snakes can be found most commonly in Southeast Asia. So for any snake fan out there, go on a trip to Southeast Asia and then locate where Medusa lives and you can officially say you've seen the largest snake in the world. But wait, if Medusa is the largest snake in the world, what could, what, what could be left? Coming in at our number one spot, and sorry Medusa, this one is bigger than you, we have the prehistoric Titan Naboa. About 60 million years ago in what is now present day Colombia, these massive snakes could be found slithering on the forest floor. And when I say massive, I mean massive. These snakes could be anywhere from 39 to 49 feet in length and weigh up to 2200 to 2500 pounds. Once again, that's 1000 to 1140 kilograms. The width of these snakes were also unimaginable. They could reach widths of three to three and a half feet. Of course, they would only get larger after feeding on a full size crocodile. Oh yeah, because they could do that by the way. So even though Medusa might be the largest snake on earth currently, many more large and in charge snakes came before her. I can only imagine what the largest Titan of Boa was, but I don't know, maybe I don't want to because this one definitely scared me beyond belief. 